Hi, this is Eric from GlassEtchingSecrets.com. In this video, I just want to show you a view of the reusable stencils and what is included, features of our stencils, how to use our stencils for cream etching, sandblast etching, or painting. But it's not limited just to those types because I've even seen people use these stencils for even cake decorating. So you can use it for nearly anything. And then I'll show you how to keep your stencils lasting long and where to get these stencils. Okay, here's a view of the wild animal stencil sheet. It includes six stencils. It has an elk, an eagle, a wolf, a fish, a bear, and a deer. And to give you like a rough idea of how big each of these stencils are, the whole sheet measures about eight inches tall by five inches wide. And I'll include a link in the description where it goes to the list and it says each individual stencil size and detail. And also, at the time of this video, we'll be, we will be including a CD disc uh, that gives you like tutorials on how to etch glass and gives you free patterns that you can use. But in the future, we might change that to actually give you uh, a booklet instead if we find that's easier for people. Okay, now I just wanted to explain the features of these stencils. As you know from the title, they are reusable, they're flexible, and they can be reused up to 15 to 20 times. And the back of the stencils have like a self-stick adhesive that is reusable. And the stencil material is about 3 mils thick. In this part, I'll show you how to use our stencils. For demo purposes, we'll be using a stencil from the Tropical and Beach Sheet. As you can see, the first step is to always clean the surface to remove all oil residue. This will allow the best adhesion and actually prolong the life of the stencil. Now you simply peel off the desired stencil from the carrier sheet. and position it on your item. At this point, rub a piece of paper over the stencil while pushing lightly. This will ensure that the stencil edges are completely adhered to the item. That way, like no cream or paint or anything can get under the stencil. Then mask around the outside with masking tape. And another tip here is I like to use painter's tape as a masking tape because I think that's one of the best. For the first example, I'm showing you how to use these stencils with etching cream. And one of the most important things you got to know is you should apply a very thick layer of the stencil. And it should be thick enough so that you can't actually see the stencil areas. Make sure you get a nice, smooth, consistent coat as much as you can. And then once it's all on, all you have to do is wait about one minute. After you waited one minute, just head over to the faucet so you can start rinsing it off. And as you can see here, I like to use my brush to kind of brush it off a little bit while I'm rinsing it. I think that works pretty well. And now you can start taking off the stencil by pulling off the masking tape and just make sure you don't rip the stencil. Also, please note, like after you rinse off the cream, the water kind of gets embedded into the etching area so you can't see it very well. Just wait till it's dry, you can see a little bit better. For the second example, if you want to use these stencils with a sandblaster to etch your glass, it is best to use a fine abrasive such as 220 grit and or a light air pressure. That is the best to ensure that these stencils will hold up. Now with the sandblaster on, you simply spray over the stencil and sweep in motions. And then pull off your stencil just like you did before. The third example, I'm going to use these stencils with paint. As you can see, I just took a foam brush and acrylic paint and I just applied them to the stencil. Make sure there's a nice smooth coat on them. Then take a razor blade and just pull off the stencils. And one tip here is I found that spray paint doesn't really work well because it usually ends up getting under the stencil. So you want to be sure to use some kind of water-based paint. 
To make sure your stencils last a long time, it's a good idea to kind of lightly rinse off the stencil and then wait a little bit for it to become dry so the adhesive gets tacky again. Then place it back on the carrier sheet to protect the back end. Thank you for watching this video. If you're looking for where to get these stencils, you can find them in a link in the description to Amazon where we sell these along with the freebies that are included. So please check the link in the description and feel free to ask me any questions in the comments below. Thanks.